Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. It's taking place the 25th of September, 2021. The upcoming professional boxing match contested between the WBA Super and IBF, WBO, and IBO heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and the WBO's heavyweight mandatory challenger Alexander Usyk. And it's going to be a nice one. So Anthony Joshua is 24-1. and one. Uh, 22 KOs, height 6'6", and he's orthodox against Alexander Usyk, the cat, 18 and 0, 13 KOs, six foot three southpaw, and it's going to be sort of crazy. Um, the the one thing that everyone obviously is talking about, the same thing is true with um, uh, Lomach- Lomachenko was. Usyk's amateur career. So Usyk had a amateur boxing record of 35, I mean, I'm sorry, 335 wins and 15 losses. 335 wins, 15 losses. So, um, I mean, obviously he's got all the experience needed. And the one thing with with Usyk is that he also had obviously that that prolific Olympic career. Um, got the gold in the heavyweight in 2012, and then he also um, got the world championships in 2009. Got a bronze medal, and then 2011 he got a gold medal. So um, got the European championships as well, bronze medal in 2006 and he got a gold in 2008 in Liverpool so pretty interesting 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 fight um so Joshua let's go to Joshua a little bit so Joshua had the Olympic Games as well um in the super heavyweight In that same Olympic game of 2012 in London, he got the gold. World Championships, he got silver. And then, um, then, you know, he's got the Great Britain Championships over here. But, yeah, I I think this is going to be a a pretty good test for Anthony Joshua to see if he can really – stand up to to somebody that has some serious amateur back like a serious amateur background and then also is technically sound even though at a at a smaller weight class he's still a, obviously a very technically sound fighter um the Andy Ruiz fight for Joshua I don't know if it was just specifically like conditioning um, and maybe, I, I don't know, but that's the, that's the only thing that I can really say that I can see like, okay, Joshua is, um, he has, he might have some issue, issues with conditioning. And if he does, I mean, Usyk might expose that because so one thing with Usyk is he's, he seems to always be well conditioned. Um, Joshua, another thing with Joshua is that he he can get rocked. <laughs> yeah. So um, I don't know if Usyk would be able to do that to Joshua, but um, I mean it's it's always in the cards because obviously the one thing about Joshua is he's just a never quit fighter, and that was what was so crazy about the Andy, Andy Ruiz fight. Even though he did get up, um, but he just he just seemed gassed and seemed pretty pretty heavy in a way. So I'm I'm feeling still like it like Anthony. I'm I'm with Anthony Joshua on this, and the the only reason why I'm saying that is because I feel that he's he's going to come in there pretty heavy. And I think that if he's 
if he's wise and he learned from the Andy Ruiz fight, he'll start to put some, some of his weight on Usyk and he'll make Usyk have to carry him a little bit. And I, I think that that could play a good, you know, it, it could be pretty good for him in the later rounds as long as he works on his conditioning. And he needs to really, really focus on conditioning in this fight. Um, Usyk is a workhorse. So uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a decision. Now, if it is a decision, there's a chance that it's, that it's probably going to be a split decision victory for Anthony Joshua. So I'm, I'm saying split decision victory for Anthony Joshua just because I think that there, there could be somebody that could, um, there could be a judge that could like the Usyk style, but I think it should be a, it should be a victory for Anthony Joshua. So y'all let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So it's supposed to be going down on the 25th of September, 2021, and it's going to be in London, England. So, you know, <laughs> they're going to be turning out for their boy. So it's going to be pretty good seeing everybody in the UK going crazy for Anthony Joshua. So, um, hey, y'all, y'all let me know. Or, I mean, or Usyk could steal it back for Ukraine. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the Brits on this one. With that being said, I hope y'all have a fantastic day and uh, peace, one love, and we out of here.